how did you blow up on social media? Well, I did like a YouTube series mm-hmm. called Manny on Brat. Are you currently dating someone? Sophie, can you name Asher's birthday? July 21st. No? Okay. Oh my. Hi, yo, what is good, guys? We're here at the No Breaks Podcast. This is episode number seven, and our guest is Sophie Fergie. Um, this guy over here like begged me to be a co-host. No, I'm joking. I invited yo. I invited my best friend, Asher Lara. You'll probably see the YouTube video we did before this. Yes, sir. It's going to take a couple of weeks, but uh, that was very fun. We just did like a lie detector test video. And uh, Sophie, you're in the hot seat today. We have some questions <laughs> and, uh, some you know, big news. you're either going to have a fun time or get canceled. So Get canceled. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude. dude. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. Yo, last time Brayden set me up on that chair. <laughs> I did not. Dude, no, yeah, I did. saw the clip on the TikTok. Huh? Oh, you it. did? Oh, the clip Dude. that went viral? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that was a setup. If I ever seen that was it. not a setup. All right, so how did you blow up on social media? Um. Well, I did like a YouTube series mm-hmm. called Manny on Brat. And then from there, I created like a YouTube channel and I started doing YouTube videos. Well, what was Manny? Uh, <laughs> it was like this man nanny show. And I was emo. So, fun facts. But yeah. What has been your peak moment if you had one or maybe it hasn't happened yet? My peak moment? Like in social media? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's actually a good question. I don't know. What was my peak? I think probably the first time I got recognized was like a wow moment. I would say like what that happened? was like my peak. Um, this girl she just came up to me and like said that she recognized me from doing YouTube videos mm-hmm. and asked for a photo and we talked for a little bit. But I think that was like probably one of the coolest moments. I mean, the first of anything, you always remember it. Yes. All right, what was it like blowing up on YouTube at such a young age? Oh, um, I have mixed opinions about it. Mm. Me personally, I think, I think it was fun, but I don't know. I had a lot of like stress as well so i mean there's a lot of like behind the scenes stuff that happened that made it stressful (laughs) dude um but i would say it was asher said how come so i just derailed me no 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 i heard um (laughs) no but it was it was fun i think it was a lot of fun to like see how many people loved you but i think it was just a stressful environment that i was in i'm happy you're out of that environment thank you thank you so much i appreciate it This Dude, is, stop! This is already my favorite. Nervous. This is already my favorite podcast. Backstory: I told them to make sure my questions were like good for me, and they what keep, does that mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. care to explain that? Yeah, people. Like, like, what questions? Like, give a PR would... trained answer for that. I'm joking. To be like, I didn't want like not any... get canceled. Yeah, I don't okay. not, not say get canceled, but like drama free questions, and they yeah, keep yeah. making faces like they didn't do yeah. that. So yeah, I didn't even know this paper was being written. You so. okay? But like, I'm just looking at this. I'm kind of. Uh, he's shocked. He's a little like, shocked. I would not want to be on the other side of this question. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm saying. Um, okay, but back to what you were saying. How did that impact your life, your friendship, or just overall, just you? Um, I think blowing up on social media at any age will like impact your life really goodly. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it does like have some negative effects because mm-hmm. you get very view hungry at a certain point where it's like if this doesn't do well you start to like stress out Mm. and i think it can really like damage your mental on social media it can have a really like good effect on you like Mm. if you're like watching stuff you can get very motivated or you can like really get depressed on it so it's just having like a good balance if that makes sense i mean i think anyone can do social media but it's more the mental health that you have to like prepare yourself for a lot of people don't realize did the views like when your views would go down was that very depressing for you it wasn't depressing for me. Um, I've watched other people get really, like, upset about it. For me, I would just, like, take it as a, okay, like, next video, I got to do something different. Mm. Yeah, right. I would take Wait, it as, so like, a break. usually does that make you, like, feel bad at all? Or, like, when your video doesn't do good? Like, feel, like, Like, bad. what is, like, your feeling? If, it, for example, like, mm. you put this effort in a video and you're just, like, damn, like, this does not perform how I want it to go. I used to get really stressed out. Like, I used to be like, my views are going down. Like, what do I do? But I've come to the point of like, but we're all like humans, right? So like at the end of the day. I hope so. I mean, I might be an alien. I mean, yeah, I I might be like a giraffe or something. (laughs) An alien and a giraffe. But no, no, no. What I'm saying is that like, you only live once. Mm. So to have your life be so centered around views is not a good way to live. And I personally have trained myself to get out of that mindset of being stressed about it. Because like. Not to be, like, dark, but we're all going to, like, one day. You know what Mm. I mean? Like, Yeah, just drop my CPM more. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Dude. Dude. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm just saying. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just have fun and live life. Yeah, like, we're not all going to live forever. Exactly. (laughs) But at the same time, like, like, as your job, like, Mm -hmm. which is, like, social media or, like, however you see it, like, does that ever, like, impact, like, oh, like, will this happen or, like... 
I think like it impacts like maybe like brand deals. If you have like a brand and it needs to hit a certain amount of numbers. Um, but like, I mean, it does impact everyone. I mean, but to an extent, it's also if you let it impact you. I think anything can impact you if you let it. Mm -hmm. Like you just got to be able to. Did you understand how to monetize your channel when you were that young? Um, I didn't understand it at the time. I mean, I think I was told about it, um, like told that you can make money off YouTube. But for a while, I didn't know. Like, I just thought it was doing fun videos. Mm. So, I mean, and I understand. You're just like, like, mom, why do, how do you have like all these Gucci purses just laying around? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, but I understand. Like, mom, like, like, mom why, like, do you have, why is there a McLaren outside? <laughs> why is there a McLaren up? <laughs> no, but I do understand like a great deal now because <laughs> yeah, for yeah. me, like I'm 16. So like, it's like my job, right? Yeah. So like, I feel like anyone who does social media or if you work a real job, like you've mm -hmm. got to figure out financially yeah. what you're making so yeah. mm -hmm. now i understand that makes sense that makes sense yeah. yeah what was it like being part of a content group i think with any content you content group you do it's the same thing where it's like my okay my content group experience wasn't the best um i'm not gonna go into detail because i don't want to like start anything but um my experience in a content group for me wasn't good um but i've also heard that like other people have great experiences so i mm -hmm. think if you want to make it something that's fun and good just make sure you're around the right people make yeah. it a good environment what would you say is like one of the major pitfalls or challenges you face like through social media i think for me it's when i see stuff online about me that isn't true i feel mm -hmm. like that to me hurts because like it's hard to say like as a creator like i'm not like that I um agree. but it's hard to like s say as a creator like oh i'm not like that like i've had people go online and be like i met her and she was rude and yeah. that hurts because i'm like were I'm you not... rude or no no oh, i i only had one time that oh, i was God, like I think she was she was pretty rude to me. Dude, no, I had one moment. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I had one moment where I was like, <laughs> it was a big like, oh no. And it was because I was crying. I was going through it. So I was yeah. bawling my eyes out. And this girl came up to me and she asked for a photo. And I just like politely said like, no, not right now. Like I just, yeah. I need a minute to like compose myself. Can I have a minute? And she wouldn't like, like step away. Yeah. And I was freaking out. So like, I was just like, can you please like go? And she later went on social media and said that mm. I was rude to her, mean. And it was just kind of like a lot of people, like not agreed, but a lot of people were like, oh, wow. And like, Wait, we're unfollowing really? me. Yeah. Cause, Wait, what? Yeah. Wow. So it's like, it's so, hard. Cause like I, like, I know the situation. I was there. So like, if somebody's on social media making stuff up about you about a situation that they were not there for, yeah. or at least that they were there for, but they go on social media ranting about something that like yeah. really didn't happen yeah. or how the interaction went, it definitely like affects. So after that, I was like, I want to stay home. I don't want to go out. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think, I think also like a major thing is like the idea of like the pedestal where it's like people that do social media or people that are like in the limelight for like movies or TV. It's like mm -hmm. they're expected to always act perfectly. Right. And I think that we're all human and it's, you have to have, this level of understanding and empathy towards people mm -hmm. like you can't expect people to always be in a good mood and yeah, always want to take photos and stuff. that's the thing and that's why i honestly don't give like people who have like a bad day like if i go up to somebody and I ask for a photo and they're like no i understand because like if you put it to put it in perspective to someone who's not like on social media or like at least like i don't want to say big on social media that sounds like i don't know self-centered but you could say i feel like it's not that well yeah i just like, I, get, I get the point you're saying that right. you don't want to sound i don't think you're self-centered so i don't think it's bad to say. i just think i just feel like if you're not if you don't understand like you shouldn't like take someone's actions like imagine if somebody was coming up to you on a bad day and asked for like mm. a photo that's kind of how i think of it and like mm. always treat everyone with kindness like you should but there's a certain point where it's like if you need to compose yourself like for me when i was crying just give me a minute and i will gladly do a photo i'll have a conversation with you that's another thing too. Like I like to have a conversation with somebody before doing the photo and a lot of people will just run up and take a photo and then leave. Like I like to like get to know the person, but makes sense. Yeah. So I feel like this is kind of on like a similar vein because like we, you kind of went into it, but has there ever been a time where like, you know, there was just like a bad narrative painted about you or you were canceled in some sort of way? I don't think I have a bad narrative painted about me, but I think like I've definitely been like bad mouthed, I guess, to other creators. And then that like feels weird. All right, so you've been you've been bad mouth to other creators like wrongly for like reasons that right for reasons true. that like don't make sense. So like on social media, am I painted badly? I don't think so. I try to like treat everyone kindly and try to like give my full one hundred percent to everyone. But mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I'd like to explain myself if I ever got, I guess, really painted badly on social media. Yeah. But I, think, I, I, I don't think, that's think I important. have. Possibly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think you have. Wait, so like, do you get a lot of hate comments at all, or no? Just 
Um, I do. I think my biggest take comment was um for the way I look. I get a lot about the way I look. So like what that goes say? to like how do you like deal with that? Um, for a while let it bother me, but like something that's like therapeutic to me that I've done forever and do with like anything when I'm feeling anxious or like sad or annoyed or like I just need to get it out. I write in my notes app and that's helped me. So I feel like doing mm -hmm. that has helped me out a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, just like to cope with things. But yeah, like I don't know. When it comes to like making fun of my face or body shaming, that's like hard. Cause like I see myself every day in the mirror. So it makes you think about it. Like I don't I don't know how to explain, but like yourself you get self conscious. No, I understand what you're saying. I feel like it's um you guys live in such like a weird like you guys have a weird position where you're almost constantly being seen and like commented on you're, you're not supposed to in a way yeah i think everyone has like expectations for you to look perfect or like look like a supermodel on social media also to anyone who sees like these supermodels on social media like props to any like everyone but the they're thing probably is, using like, some facetune let's be honest that it's not like i don't i feel like a lot of people get insecure when they see like someone who's like gorgeous or this and it's like that person also has insecurities as well yeah so for you to feel self-conscious about yourself like just don't. That sounds like so, like, I guess dumb. Like, just don't feel bad about yourself. But, like, really love yourself. Because, like, take me, for example. I get made fun of every day. But would I sit there and cry about it? No. I'm just going to live life. No, I'm joking. Well, Some sometimes. Days. No, like, <laughs> even before we, like, shot this, I was, like, checking my lip liner. Because that's a really big thing of mine. Mm -hmm. So I'm, like, over here, like, is my lip liner okay? But I don't know why I whispered. <laughs> but, yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like just love yourself. Yeah, I think I think that's like a very good message to tell people. Okay, so if you were not doing social media, what else could you see yourself doing? Or in the future, if you're not doing social media, what do you want to be doing? <laughs> Sorry, I really like that question. See, I'm queuing you up. Like, yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm like, yo! Um, if I wasn't doing social media, there's, okay, there's a few routes that I probably would have gone. Um, if Astronaut? I, no, I'm joking. <laughs> if I wasn't in social media, one thing that I was little that I really wanted to get into was uh, Olympic swimming. It's so like Olympic swim. Um, like, like Michael Phelps type of like? Like Olympic swim. Yeah, yeah. Are, are you a good swimmer? I am. I used to do like training a lot. Like really? a while Wait, back. how do I not know this? Really? <laughs> yeah. I Why wanted... are you gatekeeping your swimming? Yeah, you're gatekeeping the swimming Dude, skills. Guys, comment if you think Sophie's gatekeeping your swimming. <laughs> <laughs> when I came, because like I was born in Los Angeles, then moved to North Carolina and came back. So all my swim mm. was in North Carolina. So when we moved here again, I was like. So you're practically related to Mr. Beast. Okay. Like you were well, in North Carolina. <laughs> well, yeah. No, just kidding. Um, but when we moved back, it was hard to find like good swim places so i feel like if i never i guess left north carolina i'd probably still be doing swim um because like my best friend at the time it still is we're still pretty close so what is like your fastest yeah lap what's time? your lap time what's yeah, going what's your on lap time? oh i i have no idea it was really high though like, what is the zero to 60 speed on that zero to 60 <laughs> yo <laughs> that's not yo pause pause dude Wait, what no 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 <laughs> zero to 60 miles per hour um, I don't know. I have to look at my... I have, like, a certificate. What's the acceleration? What's the acceleration? <laughs> What's the drag Dude. strip speed? The drag strip. No, but my friend, she's still in swim and, like, is competing on the same team and is going really far in it, but... So I if, guess if me, it. you, and Asher go to a pool right now... Wait, why do I feel like I can beat you? <laughs> uh, maybe, mm, maybe. I don't know. I have no idea, but yeah. That's, wait, but that's if I never moved wait, to LA. We, dude, we should all try. Yo, can we, yo, guys, guys, comment down below. <laughs> Swim we'll podcast? make we'll make the second episode in the water. Dude. It'll be a, it'll be a nautic episode underwater. Dude, that would actually be crazy. That would be such a good dude, at I'm, least I'm such tempted, a good video. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's if I and guys, we'll do a race and we'll show Sophie. Me and Ash are gonna start wait, taking should, swimming lessons. Yeah. No, no, no. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then, mm, nah, but we don't tell Sophie about this. Yeah, we don't lessons. tell Sophie. And then, we, and then once we like we're in the pool, we we, race we destroy her. But that's like yeah, that's if I never moved to yeah. LA. I feel like otherwise, right now I'd probably be like an author. I want to write an book. author. Yeah, my grandpa's an author. Really? Yeah. That's dude. Like you always wanted to write a book. Yes. If you write a book. were to write a book, what would it be? About? I I don't know. I know I want to make a fictional book. Um, I think I would add elements that have happened in my life to mm. add to the book. Um, like what elements? Like what do you want to pull from specifically? I really like <sighs> like what is the specific um I honestly have a lot of ideas mainly like I guess like I don't know you'll have to uh, read the book I'm excited I'm, I'm definitely guys <laughs> so when I'm is definitely the book releasing like... <laughs> I don't know I want to write it in, in early Oregon. in early 2043 the book's coming out I'm gonna definitely buy that book but how do you balance your posting how do you balance like social media and then also real life and giving the time each part deserves so like when I say real life I mean like family friends mm -hmm. and then so you know what I mean I'm a big family person yeah. i've always been super connected to my family 
So like any chance I get, like I just recently went on a family trip. I'm ecstatic. Yeah. Like I love being around, especially like my grandparents, my uncle, my mom. Like the like, dude, I. I, I balance that time well, and I'll go on my phone, like, a couple times, check in with, like, friends, and, like, try to, like, figure out. Check the metrics. And right. <laughs> we'll check in on everyone, and then I'll make a video, like, with family, and mm -hmm. then I'll post it and turn off my phone. And try to, like, be with family as much yeah. as possible. Because, like, to me, those are the, like, memories you're not going to get back. Like, you can't. Mm -hmm. And that's with anything you do. You can't relive something. Mm -hmm. So, like, even right now, we are... I heard a friend of mine say this. We are the youngest we'll ever be right now. Damn. Wait, wait. We will be... Wait, what is it? We will be the youngest we'll ever be right now. No, we're the we youngest will, we'll ever be right now. And we'll, we're the... Like, at the same time. Oldest we've ever been. Yeah. Oldest we've ever been. Yeah, so it's yeah. kind of weird to think about, like, mm -hmm. even after, like, this podcast. Like, this is something you can't get back. So, what I'm yeah. saying is, like, cherish every moment you have because... Thank you. You never know. Not when it's going to be the last, but, like, when you're going to see people again. So, like, just cherish every in encounter yeah. you have i mean also I like i think like yeah. a big reason for like why i made the podcast is because i feel like um i feel like this will resonate with you too i think everything on social media right now is very replicated and mm -hmm. everything is like a trend or someone doing the same thing as someone else and right. one guy starts it and then like a thousand ten thousand people do it so what i like about true conversation like this is we're all sitting here and this can't be replicated right this can't be a trend like you know what i mean like it's just mm -hmm. sitting down here and this podcast and this interview and this conversation like this will never be copied again this will right. never happen again right. so it's like the idea to make like a unique thing where it's not like a challenge or a trend like yeah. that's why i like the interview like podcast type of thing are you currently dating someone i am not no or am i oh yeah. damn no um me with the love life on social media i don't mess with wait you say that but both of your exes are both in social media Okay. I so feel like that's I fine. I feel like that's yeah. not as bad if you're okay with that. The reason, yeah, no, it's fine. So, like, what's going on over there? Okay. So, over here, um, no, but <laughs> my reasoning, I think that's a big reason on why I don't want to, like, broadcast a relationship Stop. in the future or anything, just because I think, okay, can you, okay. <laughs> anyway, you're asking that. You're asking that. I no, think, what? yo. I'm talking. I sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, so yeah. I think like with having a relationship on social media, like for me at least, it's always been a pretty like negative experience because mm -hmm. when somebody like even my ex, a lot of people didn't like on social media. They were like making fun of him and stuff like that, and it hurt can we, him can too. Can we give him a shout out? No. No. Um, but it also gave him like a lot of love too. So it's kind of like when you're on your upline, a lot of people will support you, but they'll also like make reasons on why you guys shouldn't be together for mm -hmm. no reason. Like if you don't know me personally and you're not my boyfriend don't really you know what i mean like that's like, don't try to get in exactly like if somebody random on social media is like you should break up with him because this that and the other and you don't know me that's where i kind of draw the line so me personally i like to keep like, all that off social media so would you say that social media like negatively impacted your your last relationship or the relationship you're referring to to an extent i think when we were together it was fine but like mm -hmm. when I, I think the hardest part for me, at least, is, like, when I broke up online, mm. seeing that, like, circulate everywhere and people repost yeah. it constantly, just reminding you that you broke up really hurt. Because it's just, like, you're seeing it constantly. Like, I don't want to be reminded about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I feel like that's also a very negative thing about social media. Like, the fact that it's almost like a constant replay of things that you might not want to see. Right. If yeah. It's like something negative that happened to you online. Then exactly. It's gonna be a constant replay. I see constant replays. This video, I'm gonna say it because I've seen it all over my for you page. It's this video of my ex and I when I was literally like 10 years old, like about to like it's. I think it's to Senorita the song, but mm -hmm. it's like us about to go in for a kiss, and I keep getting tagged in it. So stop tagging. Wait, stop wait, I think I know which one. You're yes. About. No, I think you and Ella sent it to me. No, possibly. I never sent it to you. Okay, then Ella did because I saw it and I was like, dude, like that's crazy. But that's something that. How to old me, were you? Ten. I was probably like eleven or twelve. Oh but like God. to me, that's that's like, so weird to me. Like I yeah. just like weird. That's days. So weird. Oh. If you were to have a next relationship, would it like your next relationship will would it be I put on it? social media? Oh, no. um, I mean, I don't think I wouldn't like. I wouldn't go around parading it personally. Mm. Um, not anything like against to the person I'm dating, but it's just yeah. kind of like, I've just seen, and from what I've dealt with, like how bad social media can turn a relationship. And yeah. for me, I don't want to deal with that. So, I mean, would I say like in interviews and stuff, like, do you have a boyfriend? I'd be like, oh yeah, but I'm not going to like post about it a I lot. I respect that. You know what I mean? I just think it's yeah. better that way and it keeps, it keeps your relationship safe. So the next question, kind of in the similar vein, do you think you're looking for someone special or are you open to like getting a relationship soon? I feel like with that, like, you said go looking for someone. Like, are you looking for someone right now? 
I'm not, I don't ever like want to look for anyone. I've done that multiple times. Don't do it. I think like if the time's right and somebody comes to you, then like, then you go for it. But like the thing is like, I'm very wishy-washy when it comes to relationships. Mm -hmm. Like I do want one, but it's also like, I need to focus on myself at the same time. So it makes it difficult. But I would say, I just, I just go with whatever happens. Okay. What would you say like your red flags in guys are or like in friends? (laughs) First red flag, like, if you start, like, I've had people, like, sit there and, like, trash my music taste. That's a very big red flag. What's your music taste? It's, like, Lana Del Rey and, like, rock. Okay. Yeah. So, like, I I guess. And then, like, I have, like, a few rap songs in there. So, guys will trash it? I've had, yes. I've had people be like, what is this? I'm like, oh. I'm not too sure about the rock music. Okay. So. So, Ash is a a a big red flag. (laughs) Fucking red flag. No. um, But I would say that's something. And, like. Not having, like, good hygiene, too. Like, that's, like, just get the ick from that. Um, I don't know. What if, like, so, like, how many times do they have to, like, shower in, like, a week, let's say? Shower like, is, like, I hope is you're, once like, a week good or no? Well, personally, I shower every morning. So, I hope, like, you're, like, showering, like, every day. Okay, but what if, like, they just, like, like, they just, like, they've got mm-hmm. a really good personality, got the good looks, <laughs> but, like. But, like, smell disgusting. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. hold on. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Sophie, hold on. Well, Asher, Let's stop talking jump... about yourself. No, Let's not jump to conclusions, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Let's not He's jump like, to what con- if they're really good looking, they, they're big on TikTok, but, like, they don't shower ever. No, 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 no. Let's not jump to conclusions, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> he's really good looking. <laughs> he's, um, but he he's got shower. a good personality, <laughs> but he showers okay. every six months. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, bro, hold she's on. Not to, she's not trying to date hold the Liver on. King, bro. <laughs> hold on, let's. I want to hear her answer. <laughs> no, no, if you're not showering <laughs> every okay, day. Okay, but what if he looks dude. like, you know? Because you smell. What if his personality is like ten out of ten? <laughs> dude, I don't care. You have to be showering. I don't know, but like, I get like, I don't really necessarily know if I have a lot of red flags. I just get like icked out. Mm-hmm. So what are your on the opposite? What are your green flags in guys? Like, what are the like you see this in a guy and you're like. This is my man right here. Good, yeah. good music taste. I say good music taste, but then like everyone thinks their music taste is good. Yeah, I know some people that don't have good music taste. Yo, what, dude, what? <laughs> dude, my music. No, I, I actually think your music taste is good. Yeah. Really? Oh, okay, okay. Yours? Like... No, I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> the thing is, me and Sophia have similar it's similar. Music oh, taste, so. okay, 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 okay. It's a little, we were at the karaoke last night and there's a little too much Taylor Swift going on. Dude, Taylor Swift is a W. Dude, that's what are, what, what are saying. some other green flags? Dude. Like, um, <laughs> green flags. Okay, a big thing, like, for me, is like, you have to, like, support me in my decisions. So, mm-hmm. like, to an extent, like, you can give me advice, but, like, I feel like in a relationship, like, people get, I like, a big red flag, and this is going to, like, kind of answer my green flag, is, like, yeah. people who are controlling. Mm-hmm. I don't like to be controlled. You don't like, like top G's. Oh. Like, the guys, I think they're, like, alpha males. Yeah. No, it, yeah. dude. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, I don't like somebody to, like, control me. Yeah, so if yeah. I tell you what to do. Right, like, if I like go out. Like, controlling people. Exactly. If I go out, like, you just have to trust me. Like, let's say uh, I go to a party. Yeah. And there's, like, other guys there. Mm-hmm. You just have to trust that I'm not going to do anything. And, like, I personally, if I was dating somebody, like, if you want to go and you want to go, like, to a party and there's going to be other girls there, go. Just, yeah. like, I'm going to trust you enough not to do anything stupid. And if yeah. you do and I find out, then that sucks. But, like. You're, he's just not the one. You're holding them back from cheating and they're going to, like, they're like, already, like, trying to do that. Like, mm-hmm. it's not. Like, good. exactly. That means right. they don't, like, mm-hmm. that means the connection is, like, not real. And, like, they don't like you. Like, the answer will come to you. Yeah. Right. Like, I what think, they do. Yeah. Like, I, I just think, like, I said a lot of eyes. Um, no, but I think, like. Can you add one more eye? I. Oh, okay. I, I, I. No, I'm <laughs> no, I, I think a was... big thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, a big thing for me, though, is, like, just don't be controlling. And, like, if a girl comes up to you and they're like let's say i'm like with you in the room or something and they're like flirting with you i i hope we're going home and laughing about it like that's mm. just my personality like i'm gonna sit there and i'm gonna be like that was so funny like let's yeah. laugh about it i yeah, think yeah, yeah. i'm just an on very i'm not very yeah. serious so that makes like, sense what age do you see yourself leaving social media and like kind of moving on to something else me personally i don't think i'm gonna leave social media but i might like evolve my account yeah. um i think like Definitely once I start to, like, have a family. Like, our favorite YouTuber, Danny. Danny Gonzalez. Uh, oh, yeah, Danny, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. like Danny Gonzalez. There you go. He recently had a baby, and he just took a break from social media, but, like, he's still putting out videos now. And I think, like, that's really... I think that's something special, because, like, it shows that, like, he cares about his personal life mm-hmm. and also his supporters. So, I mean, 
I'd probably, like, when I have a family. I mean, I don't know. Anything can happen. So much can change in literally a week. Yeah. I always say, like, so much can change in, like, six months. But, like, a week, too. A week, yeah. Yeah. Like, true. Yeah. Never know. It could be a game. You could, I feel like anyone could die any day, like. Uh, oh, well, let's not. Okay, so, yeah. dude. What? On, like, <laughs> let's oh, not say that. Uh, <laughs> what, what would be your advice for upcoming creators and anyone who wants to break into social media right now? You have to prepare yourself. Don't. Don't go into it, like, I guess, blindly. I feel like a lot of people do that. A lot of people don't understand, like, the waves of social media. Yeah. Like, it's constantly a roller coaster, and it's like a wave. Like, you're going to have a really big upcline, mm. and you're going to go down a little bit. Yep. But it's just kind of like being preparing, like, preparing yourself to ride that roller coaster, or, like, surf the wave. <laughs> um, Like, it's just, I, I don't know, like, prepare yourself and make sure you're at a good mental spot to do it. That's a big thing, because, like... When social media got rough for me, I took a mental break. Next segment, we're gonna be doing uh like like friend questions, like how well do you guys like know each other? Okay. Uh, so the first question is like, how long have you guys been friends? And, like, how did you meet? We. Um, do you want? Asher has no clue. No, I'm joking. No, he does. I think. I yeah, of course. Um. Oh, he, say yeah. He's like uh. No, I no, first I'm heard yeah, of, of you guys. I know. Wait, wait, wait. I met you <laughs> earlier, but like the oh. most. Not earlier. I remember. I was at Playlist with Sawyer mm -hmm. and you and I think Ryan called and like that's like the first called time. Called Sawyer? I, mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. That's the first time I like found out about you but we didn't, I feel like we met before this but we, I have like a video of you holding a teddy bear. Yeah. That was in October. October, like, right. October 2022. But did we, didn't we meet before that or no? My, we met, we met at during the, the summer. Yes. Yeah, in the basement yes. of Sawyer's house. basement. It was Sawyer's room. Yeah. We were, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we met, um, I had just got done like filming content with Sawyer and I was going to go home and Sawyer texted me like, Hey, like come downstairs. Like there's a bunch of people. And I was like, okay. So I went downstairs and like, I saw like a whole group of people and <laughs> Asher was there <laughs> and fun fact for all of you guys out there. I thought his name was cat for the longest time. K A T like cat. That's really rude. I didn't know. Like the construction equipment. Like yeah, that's really rude. That's really Wait, no, dude. Like cat? I think that's like I introduced myself and like no 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 no. Cause like it's just that's crazy to me that you just like didn't even acknowledge my name. You know? No, I don't like, know. Like no, somebody called you cat like, in the room. That you just didn't have enough. She time didn't for care me. enough. No, 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 no. Somebody called you cat in the room, and I didn't know it was a joke. It was oh. a joke. There was you got called cat, and I was like, huh? And I put it in. I was asking Sawyer like, what happened to cat? Mm. He was like, I don't know who she's talking about. <laughs> yeah. So like he blew it off. So it was like, what you. is Sophia? <laughs> yeah. Man. Right. And then I saw him again, and I was like, oh. That's cat. Yeah, that's cat. And he was Sawyer was like, that's, <clears throat> that's not cat. That's oh, Asher. Yeah. So in my contacts, I have Asher parentheses cat Laura, because like that's okay. really uh, weird. that's that's kind of because that's a name I, I put down. Okay. Well, wow. I think it it's like really is a nice memory. I agree. So. I agree. I yeah, feel like I should probably weird. walk out the room right now. That's, it was that's probably the end. Of I the remember it as like a goofy, funny memory, so I always kept it. I know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like what's next? Do you next? want me to delete it? Like no. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not. Sophie, can you name Asher's birthday? It's like a friendship test. I'm trying to like see like how well do you guys actually. Dude, know wait, I'm really bad with birthdays. I know, birthdays, birthdays. Dude, no, you guys, no, 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 no. If she doesn't get this right, you guys aren't really best friends. Friendship. No, mine's a holiday, so mine's. No, easy. no, 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 no. I'm not asking what yours is. What is what is Ash's birthday? Yeah. Answer. It's, go ahead. It's in June, July, July. No. I'm joking, dude. June, July, June. July. 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 I'll be honest. It's, it's not your best. My best friends know my birthday. I'm just putting yeah, it out. Yeah, I'm actually like getting. Ash, please, please. It's it's July twenty something. I know. But you gotta Whoa. know, Sophie. I think that it's, is wild. Dude, I have it written. That's down. like that's like getting blocked type dude. of action. No, okay, I know, listen. but dude, I know your birthday. I, have, I know. Like, I have even two answers. Was, okay. I believe July twenty first. No? Okay. Oh my god. July twenty fifth? We're done, dude. Wait, what is it? <laughs> dude. How do I not know? Okay, this is really that's embarrassing. Wild. I'm so dude, sorry. Dude, this is really bad. July what? This is twenty fifth. I just said 25. I know that was your second answer. Okay, well, I thought it was oh 21st. All right, Asher, what's Sophie Fergie's birthday? If it makes you feel better, I don't really. Okay, Claire, you're going to hate me, but I don't remember Claire's birthday either. Damn. You don't remember your it's, best dude, friend's dude, birthday? Dude, like, I, I don't what? know my grandma's birthday either. July 4th. I'm sorry, Grandma. July 4th. Thank you. That's, That's her birthday? Correct. Yes. yes. Okay. But mine's a whole. Like, I don't know so, my family members. So I'm just putting down the points. I'm just putting down the friendship test points. So Asher gets a point for that one. Of course. And then Sophie gets a not a I, point. But I said 25. Okay. What is what is Asher's favorite color? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Dude, Sophie. Okay. I know yours. No, it, I don't think you do. I do. 
Can I? Okay, it's not your turn. You go, yeah, it's not no, your turn he, yet. Let him go first. I, I, don't know. Know. No, I want to hear Sophie get the Yeah, Sophie, go first. Dude, <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah. It's unbelievable. This is absolute Well, the problem ridiculousness. is you wear like a lot of like neutral colors. So what do you think his favorite color is? I'll give you two guesses. No, no, no. Yeah, no, two guesses. Yeah, yeah, give me a guess. No, not hint. No, no, no. Like, it's not hint. A guess. Oh, you, you get to guess two, two colors. Guesses? Okay. Yes. Okay. I have three that you like wear. Oh, well, you got three guesses. No, dude, just. You got two. You got two. Because then you, you have a, you have a, you have a 66.6. Yeah. 6. I feel 6. Like, yeah. like. On the dot. You wear black a lot, but I don't feel like your favorite color is black at all. Let, it is. I'm not, I'm not even. No, it's not. Oh. I don't think it is. Okay, so you use one of your guesses? No, I, okay, I'm just go, speaking aloud. Okay, okay, whatever. You also wear white a lot. I think I know what his favorite color is. I go. feel like it's like something like blue, but I don't want to... I whisper it and you tell me if it's right. No, I don't want to say it's blue just, just, and then it's wrong. Okay, so you have to guesses. Dude, I feel like she it's... She said... Oh, wait, wait, say it, it. You want more. Dude, I feel bad. I feel like it's blue, but I, I feel like you're going to be like, Sophie, what the world? What in the world? It's not. So is that your second guess? No, that's my first guess. So your first guess was black. No, I was just speaking aloud. Oh, okay. My first guess is blue. First guess is blue. Okay. No. Is that accurate or not? No. Okay. What's your second guess? She doesn't even know me. I do, Asher. Are you? I looked real? up. I looked up. Like, what are the most basic friendship questions? I'm sorry, I don't know your favorite color. It's nothing like personal with Asher. I just don't know like my friends like favorite color. I just don't. Wait. What's your second guess? Just, 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 just. Go I don't on. even want to say because now he's gonna be like. No, no, he'll be nice. He'll be yeah, nice. I'll be nice. No, you won't. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. No, Sophie. What in the scam? Just put down your phone. It's Let's... not on my phone. Huh? It's not on my phone. Just answer if it's on my phone. It's not. It's not. It's not. Yes, it is. I don't no, think it not. is. I think you're just going to go on Instagram and look at his profile. No, it's not. <laughs> Sophie, this is taking way too long, bro. Dude, I know because I'm Just shoot stressing. one. No just, one's going to care. Yeah, no just go. White? Is it white? Yeah, it's white. It is? Yeah. Okay, but white, okay. Okay, wait. But white doesn't... I thought... Why is it color? One point, one point. Sophie, you got a point there. Okay. I was going to say okay, white, but turn? I just didn't yeah, know Yeah, what's, like, what's Sophie's favorite counted. color? Uh, dark I, green. I have... Mm? No? no? Now she's just going to get you wrong. She wants Dude, to have the same white point. No, it's, it's not dark green. I uh, have one more guess. I you have, said dark yeah, green for no. the first. But is that close? That's close. That's like one of my... But that's not my top favorite. Second? Yeah, it's my second favorite. That's not my top. Your top... Um, it's like a certain... Like, it's kind of like... It's just, it's just, some BS. <laughs> she's saying some BS. Like, it's going to be like... Turquoise. Like, Turquoise. No, 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 no. Dad! Oh my gosh. Okay. No, I wanted, no, no. I okay. Hold on. I wanted to paint my house this color. Dude, what in the world? I don't, I've, I've magenta. Um. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Um, this type of purple. Purple. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Dude. I don't know. I this is it. actually. I'm learning white, so white, much. White, 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 it's white. No, it's navy. Guys, blue. this is what an influencer navy friendship. Blue. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, but second favorite is it's dark green. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna give him half a point. Yeah, facts. I no, thought, we're not giving I, no, him. We're not no. giving him a point. Okay, Sophie, what is Asher's favorite food? Okay, you better get this. Yeah, first try. The, okay, the thing is. <laughs> yeah. No, listen, listen, this listen. This is so entertaining. You eat a lot of like. You eat a lot of food. Okay, but the thing is, okay, <laughs> you're trying, you know, trying to say something. No, about no, no, no. me particularly. The, or? What no, in the no, body no. shame? No, no, I'm not body shaming. Okay, I'm joking. No, 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 I'm just saying that like. You always go like every time we go out to dinner, you will be like, "This is my favorite thing." Like, I just, ha, ah, I just love this. <laughs> no, you do, you do. I just like no, food. You, yeah. yeah. So you say everything's your favorite, but recently, what you've been eating a lot of—I don't know if this is yes. your favorite—but the, the what is it called? You like K BBQ, K Barb, hot pot, hot pot. You hot eat pot. a lot of hot pot recently. That's not even close to my favorite. Ooh. Really. Yeah. Okay, Asher, you get one shot. You have one shot. What is Sophie's favorite food? One shot, one kill. Um, I'm, yo, I'm, you know I'm better. So no, no, I got it. Music. I got it. Spaghetti. <laughs> Is he right? Yes or no? No, no oh not even close. God. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Wait, I got it. No. Um, Is, that, is dude, that your final answer? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Um, dude, I don't know. Just tell me. Um, so tell I have two. Okay. Right, um, on. whole food sandwich, and fried rice. Yes, fried rice. Fried rice is valid. Okay, fried rice. mine is, is seafood. Oh, okay, okay. That, yeah. You little scammer. All uh, right. So you're both at you're both at one point. I would okay, just like one, to one. I would like to address. So we that. have a really bad friendship, basically. So so let <laughs> let let's put it this way. He's okay, so so you can you can kind of like interpret it. We can kind of like go two ways with this question. So it says place to go. So we could just put it as what's your favorite activity or like thing to do. Okay. So what do you think Asher's favorite thing to do? You is? need to know this, please. You need to know this. Like like deep. I want to see deep breath. Like deep breath. Would... Breathe in. Breathe out. You know. This is like a weird answer, but it's because you've told me this. 
Like it's okay. not like one activity. Mm. I don't have one activity. Man of for you. many adventures. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so um, you've always told me like you like to do like fun and like like okay. Well, first, be most besides vague traveling, no, no, no. Besides traveling, because I know you like to travel a lot. I would say that's like one of your favorite activities. But you like to do almost. It's gonna sound weird, but like I'm yawning because you're so slow in answer. <laughs> I said okay. traveling, but like besides no, that, you like to do like like cutesy things. That's what you said. Like you like to do like like cutesy activities. <laughs> if that makes sense. Are you being that ass? Is that it? That's like it's like <laughs> that's like top three, but no. Okay, so traveling mm-hmm. would be mm-hmm. my second. Doing cutesy things would be third. First would just be like being around people. No, it, oh. like being around the baker. Coming on the No Breaks That's podcast. Like on the the I think it's coming on the No Breaks podcast. Is that not your no, favorite No, actually, thing? it may be like, I don't know. I think traveling and like filming content is like even for me. Okay, but like. Filming content is activity. I know. I just you didn't like think that content? was like, like, yeah. your, like, I know you like to get mm. dialed in, but I didn't think that was like your favorite activity. Oh, wait, guys. I'm going to just yeah. say everyone well, make sure to, to like, like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I feel like my answers were good. I don't feel like they were okay, bad okay. answers. And you, it's your turn. Favorite right. activity. Um, what is it, Asher? Lay in bed. With candles on, watching Gilmore Girls. <laughs> you sound like my aunt. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you I and my like, aunt will be best friends. I like doing that, but I wouldn't say it's like my favorite. Okay, okay, activity. I got it. I got it. Um, that's like second on the list. No, that's okay, like third on the list. Okay. Um, Lake House. Um, Reading and chillaxing. I would say like one of my favorite activities besides like I feel like no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Listening to TV Girl in a lake by a lake house. That is a good activity, but it's not something that I do daily, so I wouldn't put it as like my favorite activity. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Sleeping. Oh, Asher. Ah, sure. <laughs> That's Dude. very disrespectful. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Eating. Asher! Ah, I'm, sure. I'm just kidding. Yo. No, that's kidding. Cut. My favorite activity, um, besides hanging around people, because I feel like that's a basic answer. Yeah. Um, I like to write, so I feel like writing is probably my favorite Your activity. favorite activity to write? Mm-hmm. I really like writing. Really? I enjoy it. Where do you write? Usually in my room, but like if it can be like outside. No, like what? Like oh, paper? <laughs> like what oh. are we talking about? I knew he was going to go that Hold way. Hold on. For a while I was on paper and I just recently switched over to like my phone and computer. Oh no, um, I know where this Can we going. like no. get like a deep dive in the we, notes app no, maybe? Yo, can we see, can we pull up the notes can app? We, can we pull up the notes app maybe? Can we get the most, re- can you read can a line we, can from we the notes? Can, can, can you read a li- can line? Can we actually read the locked notes? Can we? Can we? Can you read one line? Like something that's not bad? This is just about somebody who isn't in my life anymore. Okay. Like most recent. Yeah, it's fine. Um, it just says missing someone who isn't really gone hurts. Like knowing if I wanted to, knowing if I really wanted to, I could text. Knowing that if I really wanted to see them, I could. Knowing that it's better not to have them in my life really hurts. I miss blank a lot, and I always wonder if they ever miss me. Damn, that was that was that was really nice. Like yeah, that, that was, was like my a last poem yesterday. I don't know why. Like sometimes I just like get like not flashbacks, but like moments of people who were in my life and i saw a video of me in this um like my old like dude because they're gonna think it's somebody else but um i'm gonna say this it was like me and my old uh guy best friend and i don't know why but it made me like mm. get emotional how do you deal with when people make assumptions about you and asher's friendship and like try to make it more just come up with their own ideas of what they think it is oh we'll yo, take it outside yo don't punch I, no, don't. Yo, yo 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 hold on um to me i get like I guess, like, aggravated Mm -hmm. in a sense. Because, like, especially, like, when I don't... And this is with anyone. Like, when I don't post with somebody, they're like, they're not friends. Something happened. Mm -hmm. They're they're fighting. And, like, sometimes we could be fighting, but I don't want to see it all over social media. Or sometimes we're fine and I'm just not, like, posting with Asher Mm -hmm. all the time. So, I mean, it's more so... I guess, like, people trying to act like they know me or act like they're in my life and know my life Mm -hmm. and know me as a person. Like, if you don't know... If you don't have... Tom Holland said this. If you don't have your my number in your phone, don't assume stuff. But I actually don't agree with that because a lot of people have my number and make stuff up. But um, <laughs> they be talking bullshit. Yeah, yeah. No, but my thing is like, I don't know. I just like, would you want somebody assuming how your friendship is with someone? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's just kind of yeah. like an it's annoying. parasocial. Like, do you ever think about that idea? That like you've you've so many people that. For you and Asher, like there's mm-hmm. so many people that think they're friends with you because they watch your content. Like that's like the the basis of like a parasocial relationship is a relationship where like a fan thinks they're think, thinks they know you, thinks they know what you and Asher like. If you're friends, if you're fighting all this stuff mm-hmm. because they just watch your content. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, like it's it's like annoying and like I mean, I would want somebody who's watching my content to feel like my friend to feel like they yeah. know me. But it's also to a certain level like there's boundaries that shouldn't be crossed. Mm-hmm. So like if you're on social media being like Sophie and Asher aren't really friends, they're just doing it for social media. That's like, dude, if I don't want to be friends with somebody, 
I won't do social media content with them. I don't even feel the need to put them on my page. Yeah. Like, I, if you want to be friends and homies, we can be friends and homies. But, like, I don't know. I don't do, like, fake, like, bonds anymore. I used to, like I used to put up with, right, I used to content. put up with, exactly. I put up with people Some for BS. content. Exactly. I don't do that uh, anymore. So everyone I post with, like, I genuinely, like, mm-hmm. mess with. Like, do you think Asher could be, like, a one of the bachelorettes at your wedding one day? Oh, dude. Asher, like, might be, like, my best man for sure. Really? Yeah. You're, Asher, you're she's going to be, like, the, the best woman at your wedding? I better be. Wait, 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 actually, wait, what hold is up. that? Isn't that like when it's like? Do you know like, what your best man is? Like, no, I don't. What is oh, it? your best man's like the person like who's like in your like. How do you explain that? I don't know. Like the like probably someone that's like impactful in like your life, like that you've been close with for a right, long time. Right, they like stand behind you while you're getting yeah. married type thing. Mm, um, like they got like that 360 angle on the kiss, like when it's like <laughs> when it's like you were now married, you may now kiss, and it's, like, um, it's just guy. like it's like you you put your favorite person as your best. Yeah. Man. Or I for me yeah. it'd be bat- for me it's like bachelorette, but I just said yeah. best man. Yeah, 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 I see. Um, so you'd get to go to like the bachelorette party and everything. No, you actually, you know, you'd be the one p- p- planning the party because you'd be the yeah, you'd the, have the to best plan man. The party. Oh, really? I see. Yeah. I feel like Asher knows me really well, so like yeah. I'd want him to plan my party. Would you let Sophie be like your your best woman? I guess at the wedding. Um, he's like no. Yeah, I mean yes. Okay, we have a few minutes left. This is my closing question. Yes. When is the moment in life that you had no breaks? Like when you went super hard in life. I would say like I had no breaks when I was younger. Like I just couldn't catch a break for the life of me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'd say like around like 12. But I, the thing is like I don't, I don't think that of like being a good thing. If that makes sense. Like for mm-hmm. me, I think you have to like have pauses and breaks in life. because like, Balance. Yeah, you have to balance it out. So I would say when I was younger, but now I've had like a good balance. Mm, yeah. I like that. That's good. Uh, this was my awesome episode. I hope you enjoy. Uh, First episode of Brunette Sophie. Yes, Brunette guys, Sophie. I'm Brunette now. Oh my like gosh. Like it or don't. I will. Sophie, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Asher, yes, thank you for co hosting. Everyone, make course. sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Raising his hand for the teacher. Oh, and get ready, ready for the next episode. Yes, sir. Because it's about to be fucking lit. And comment your favorite part. Let's go. Peace Love you out. guys. Bye.